catching up with the head coach of the Okanagan Sun and the Canadian Junior Football League Coach of the Year, Shane Beatty. Is that worn off? Uh, yeah, um, just getting back to you know regular life every day here and uh, trying to move forward and, and get recruiting going. And um, it's a nice honor, and um, it's great for the organization. And um, you know, I'm still hearing it every day, so <laughs> it's still nice. You like you see you mentioned recruiting. When does that start? We're here in the middle of November. When does recruiting start? I'm sure it has already. It's already started. Um, we're not out in full force yet, but um, we're going to meet here next week, um, the coaching staff and I. But um, I've already been in contact with a couple defensive linemen and um, a couple offensive linemen, and that's the biggest areas we have to fill right now. Last year, went to Saskatchewan, went to Alberta. Did you dip into Manitoba? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And we'll, with you again? Yeah, we're going to head back to Winnipeg. Um, you know, obviously having some good connections there now and. Um, and um, we're going to really build on that and um, hit Manitoba hard again this year. And, um, you know, that's going to be that with Calgary and um, Saskatchewan. They'll be our bread and butter this year again. But looking local, I mean, local teams have made the uh, BC High School football playoffs. Are you looking at local kids? Well, absolutely. I think we had 26 kids this year from Kelowna. Um, and that's huge. It gets, you know, gets seats in the, um, in the stands and um, it really helps the program. It helps us locally and it helps us moving forward too. So we'll go after a couple of kids locally and then um, I'm going to hit Kamloops and Vancouver hard as well. Lose a couple of key guys, a lot of key guys for graduation, Zach Ironstein, Robbie Yoakum, linebackers, Dexter Janke. What are you focusing on? Well, we need to get two offensive linemen, one guard, one tackle, um, and then two inside guys to place Manu and Zach. Two linebackers. Um, we need to replace Robbie and then obviously Dexter, but we're going to be really good in the secondary. We're still young. We've got loads of talent coming back, um, but we really do need to replace Robbie Yoakum. That's going to be the tough one. Um, we've got Van coming back with Matt and Beck and Cord. Um, Jamie Turek, West Geyser, so we're going to be really good in the secondary again. We lose both starting line linebackers in Mock and um, Ron Mwamba, so we need linebackers and we need two inside guys real bad. Who's returning kicks? Probably Corey Nagata. Okay. I'm really looking forward to Corey Nagata. Small guy. Oh yeah, but he's, <laughs> believe it or not though, he'll be about 190 pounds. He's 184 pounds right now. If he comes back at 190, as fast as he is and shifty as he is, he could be a replacement. But Robbie Yoakum will be the toughest one to replace. Mm -hmm. Good luck with this cold. Uh, you're going to Manitoba, Saskatchewan. You think Kelowna's cold? Kelowna's beautiful right now compared <laughs> to that. Let me tell you something. You know, we'll, we'll hit Winnipeg hard, and, and it's a good reason for those kids to get out of there. And um, you know, like Ron and Dexter said before they came here from Saskatchewan, is it really as beautiful as they say it is? And um, here they are. So we need you all to come here and help us out and um, make a run for the 2015 championship. And it's a true testament to how good this organization is when the players are, are preaching for you, right? They're our best recruiters. Yeah. I mean, they're going to go out. They're going to go back home and... Um, and, and then they're going to tell them how the trip was and how the, how the year was and um, whether it's worth coming out to Kelowna or not. And, um, you know, we're going to use their advice and their expertise and um, their experiences here in Kelowna, and that's what's going to help us the most. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Coach Shane Beattie, watch for him in a community near you.